Now, the supply chain, I suppose, is one of the sort of least glamorous um, aspects of the publishing industry, but it is one of the most important. Do you think senior figures in the industry engage with it enough? Yes and no. I've seen a trend probably in the last two years where the senior figures have engaged more in the supply chain, probably due to the economic climate and to actually look at reducing cost of sourcing books and getting them to market. However, uh, I think there's still more that can be done in terms of actually analysing the supply chain, working with publishers to really review the complete end-to-end -end from production right the way through to put it in the consumer's hands. And that's really where Virtualized Logistics comes in to actually sit and consult with the publisher, understand their business challenges, understand their strategy going forward, look at their sourcing programmes and look at really at the best way of actually getting their books from print to market. Because through Virtualized Logistics, SBS Worldwide is able to examine the supply chain, as you say, from beginning to end, every link in the chain uh, and propose a, a tailor-made solution. How much on average can a publisher save if they really sort of take apart the chain and then put this sure. together again? Well, I think looking at our case studies and looking at the work that we've done with publishers, we, we can usually look at saving approximately 20%. And I think that's really where, where we aim. You know, we aim to actually sit down, as I say, we, we very much work closely consulting with the actual publishers and to look at their print buying patterns, to really look at their actual mode of transport in terms of getting the goods to market. And we also um, work very closely with the production directors, the financial directors, the, the shipping managers, everyone who's going to have some kind of input into the supply chain, understand what their challenges are, build it together and then deliver a solution that can actually achieve those savings. I mean, most of the stuff comes out of production, I guess, now, doesn't it? Definitely. I mean, production are very much in charge, in essence, of not only sourcing and buying the print and, and, and managing the production, you tend to find that the actual shipping and the supply chain aspects of the business does land on their desk. You've examined a lot of supply chain arrangements down the years, I'm sure. Sure. Can you mention a couple of crazy things you've come across? A real good example of craziness within the, the publisher supply chain, I guess, was many publishers were sourced from China. They will uh, ship the books into a central warehouse in, in the USA or UK, for instance, and then from there they will ship the books on to Australia, uh, other, other areas in Europe, uh, down to Africa, uh, India, wherever it may be. And for us, that's just a, a real crazy strategy because not only does it take longer to get the books to market, um, it's also more expensive, it's not as green, um, and they're just not getting the, the, uh, you know, the return on investment and the cash flow that they should be from, from that sourcing programme. So that's probably a, a, a little bit of a crazy one, really. So they're saving money on the print, but they may be paying much more to actually get it in. Yeah, exactly. Our whole aim when we're consulting with a publisher and, and uh, looking at the way in which they are uh, you know, getting their books into the consumer's hands yeah. is to do it with as little handling processes as possible yeah. and to make it as direct as possible because you know, speed to market really in, is what it's all about now. Yeah. I, mean, I suppose most people look at, most publishers regard the logistics side of the business rather than regard the rest of us think of banks, you know, you think, oh, I need to change, but it's such a hassle. Definitely, and I think for any organisation, change is always a challenge. Mm -hmm. And I think that was the real core reason for us creating Virtualized Logistics. Because not only do we, as I say, understand the business challenges, look for efficiencies and cost savings and, and, and applying our, our technology and our systems to the supply chain, we also there every step of the way in terms of implementation and the change process from, from their existing supplier to uh, SBS. I suppose publishers are very surprised often when you, when you show them a computer model, I suppose, to you of how it will work. Definitely. I mean, we have the tools to not only analyse the supply chain and what, what we would call a cost-to-serve model. So what we do is we say, OK, let's have a look at, say, your top 20 titles. Do you truly know how much it costs you to print that book, process it through the supply chain and put it in their customers' hands? And many times publishers don't. So we sit down, we analyse that cost and we say, actually, this is how much it really does cost to get that book to market. Can we do it in a better way? Now, last uh, LBF, you unveiled slip sheets, in fact, mm. uh, which you estimate saves about 15% of mm. cost sure. and adds about 30% more capacity. Yes. What's, your, what's the big idea for this year's well, London Book Fair? I think we continue to push the slip sheet idea. Um, I think it's you know, still um, yet to be fully adopted into the publisher's supply chain, and there is such significant savings to be made by actually shipping with, with, that, with that process. But I think the big news for us this year is virtualised logistics. It's us actually forming a dedicated uh, consultancy team that are focused on literally 
as I say, understanding the publisher's challenges, their business strategy, their supply chain, and really delivering you know, world-class solutions in terms of efficiency, savings, and the best way to, for them to source their books and get them to market. Tony Leach, thank you very much. Thank you.